how are you i hope you're doing great welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new i'm che hojas and artist in general of tattooing painting drawing and anything creating um visually definitely not a singer or anything like that and today i'm back with a tattoo video i'm still figuring out how to film this the best way and now i got this new tattoo lamp which i love because it has like two light panels that you can move around in any way you want and tilt and everything but it also i don't make shades with my tattooing hand or even my stretching hand so it makes tattooing so much better but it also has a like a tripod to put like a thingy to put your phone to film with and you can charge your phone at the same time so it won't run out of battery while filming it might run out of space which is why i'm trying to erase a lot of my old stuff in there and this was my first attempt at filming with my phone with this lamp a whole tattoo process and it worked it didn't run out of battery it didn't run out of space it definitely filmed the whole thing so i'm sharing that with you and i'm very excited i actually love this tattoo this client i think this is my third tattoo with him and we already have like four more already planned out he is awesome because he asks for the best tattoo like he he has so many great ideas and he's so easy to work with it's just a lot of fun and this one is no exception this tattoo he sent me a reference for it so i take no credit for the idea i just redrew it in my style and line work but it it's just i don't know it takes it tells a whole story and such a unique story at that too so i think it came out great if i might be humble enough to say that and so yeah i'm happy that this is the tattoo that i filmed first and i'm sharing with you i hope you like it too definitely if you see things that i could improve let me know i'm always open to hearing that i'm gonna just talk with you guys for a little bit more just rumble around while so we can share some time together while you see this i was just thinking today like i've been looking at the the debate like from biden and trump ha happened recently and i've been thinking about politics a lot more because i became a citizen very very recently actually so this is the first time i'm gonna be able to vote here in the states so i've been just thinking about it more and more it's not that i didn't think about it at all before but i just had no control over it i, I didn't really feel part of it i guess not as i do now but since i am actually american and i can vote and I'm actually part of this country now so I think now I just feel more involved or whatever and I've been thinking about this more and more and I've talked about this before in this channel but I think the most important thing for a human being is their health their physical health and mental health but I feel like you need physical health first for you to be able to have actually mental health they're connected for sure like mental health comes from psychological things and life and a lot of things but it also comes from chemistry from your body so I, you do have to have physical health to have mental health and probably the other way around too um and then you can't have probably anything else or even enjoy or want anything else if you don't have health like finance and I just, just any success happiness anything if you if you have ever been sick you know what I mean I'm probably not the best at explaining what I think but when you if you are sick you can't think of anything else than wanting to be healthy first and foremost like there's this quote that I don't know from whom that is like a healthy man wants a million things a sick man just wants one and I think that could not be more accurate and this country is probably one of the sickest ones even though it has all its resources yet most of the population is sick in one way or the other of course there's like medications and stuff that maybe other places of the world wouldn't have access to but wouldn't maybe need to if a lot of the things weren't just wrong in the first place the capitalist system is a lot is why a lot of i guess latin american like me come here you can grow and you're not controlled 
world and there's more freedom and you can aspire financially to success and stuff but at the same time i think it's making profit the most important thing and that has definitely affected the food nutrition industry which is what i think is making the most people sick and then definitely the whole health system and so food here is just it feels like it's made to be the cheapest and most efficient to produce so that they can make a bigger margin and it has nothing to do with how it affects your health like if there's a cheap more affordable oil to make something or sugar to make something then they're gonna use that like instead of cane sugar corn syrup instead of butter canola oil and they're also just addictive and fluoride in water bromide in water and in mattresses and food and clothes I don't know it's and then the health system is not about prevention at all but it's also all about like prescriptions which bring other problems and the prescriptions are the one that also are more affordable to produce like I have a thyroid disease and there's this natural thyroid medication that actually heals me and actually makes me feel better but that is not covered by insurance I would have to take the synthetic one that I've took since I was a kid and never actually made me feel like healthy because I guess they can produce it more efficiently and that's the one the insurance covers. Every doctor I went to didn't even tell me about this option, didn't even sit to, with me to find root causes or anything. They have 15 minutes, it's not even their fault, it's just the way it's made. It's supposed to like hear to your symptoms, give you a prescription that is covered by your insurance just like that doctor and then get you out of there and I don't know, I don't, I don't feel happy <laughs> with how that works in my country. I feel like I'm complaining a bit too soon but i just wanted to share those thoughts since this is what i've been thinking this day and i'm just rumbling with you and yeah so that's it for me i hope you enjoyed this video and this tattoo and also not this tattoo in particular because again this tattoo is not my idea originally but i am uploading my drawings and tattoo drawings to my redbubble shop so you can find this in stickers or notebooks or t-shirts or prints so definitely if you want to check that out the link to that is in the description and without further ado, um, that's it for me. Bye, humans. I hope you enjoy this. Subscribe if you want to see more of my work or hear me rumbling anymore. And yeah, bye.